Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and I'm just making a short video because I get this question 30 to 40 times a week. And uh, so I'm just gonna make a kind of like announcement video out of it. Lightburn is slated for release for Galva machines operating on EasyCAD 2 only sometime in quarter two, 2022. If we do a quick Google search here, we can see the 2022 fiscal quarters. Quarter two, 2022, dates are from April 1st, which is well behind us now, uh, through June 30th. That means that Lightburn could be coming anytime within this month to two month window right here. Uh, all, almost all of May and then all of June. So anytime during these two months, we could see the release of Lightburn. If Lightburn releases on time, it should be a wait no longer than 51 days from today, May 10th, the date of this recording. Whether or not Lightburn ships on time, I have no idea. Uh, none of us have any idea. I don't think the Lightburn team has any idea. They built brand new software from the ground up to be able to work with controllers that no one has ever been able to crack in the last 10 years of fiber laser marking. And they're finally in. They've worked crazy miracles and they're doing stuff every day to continue to improve the software. We've used it quite a bit here on the channel. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It is stellar. There is some really incredible stuff coming down the pipe. And we're working working on our Lightburn tutorials now so that when it's released, you guys have a host of content ready and waiting for you to take advantage of. Learning EasyCAD now is not a waste of your time. Lightburn is still running on the EasyCAD controller in your machine. And that means all of the operations that are being carried out by the laser are being carried out in exactly the same way. The only thing that's really new here is the brand new UI, which is amazingly user-friendly and a bug-free laser marking experience. All of the basic principles about how this stuff all works, all of the commands being sent to the machine, and nearly all of the instructions about how to operate your machine, change your settings, and dial things in are remaining the same. Nine times out of 10, you're just gonna be looking in a different spot for the same menus. That said, we are really excited about the Lightburn specific and exclusive features that will be coming with Lightburn when it launches for Galvo lasers. I specifically held off on the tutorials for those kind of features because you guys can't utilize them yet. But that doesn't mean we're not going to start producing Lightburn content now. It doesn't make sense to make EasyCAD only content for the next 50 days and then have all of that work become irrelevant the day that Lightburn launches, which again could be as soon as 51 days from now. So please, please, please bear with me. We're going to continue to produce EasyCAD content. It's never said it was going away. The only times that we don't really get super deep into the EasyCAD end of things is when the instructions are literally identical. You guys are going to continue to get quality educational material regardless of where things go in the future. And by the looks of it right now, things are looking pretty damn good for all of us. Definitely time to get excited, guys. I know it's been a really long wait. I know knowing it's out there and not being able to have it is killing so many of you. Really, I swear, I promise, I understand, but it's coming, and when it gets here, it's going to change your world. We've got less than two months, guys, if everything goes to plan. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me today. I'll see you on the other side of Lightburn.